Hello, I'm Micah Garrett with Build Block Building Systems, and today we're going to talk about how to design and draw with our arc radius blocks. So you can find all of our models here at buildblock.com BIM. And each of these are designed as an individual model here. So these can be individually stacked and put together, or we're going to show you some different ways to be able to draw these using a simple line tool. These all come in varying sizes. You can see that we have some couple of corners here in the two and four. And then we also have arcs that are eight, 12, 16, and 20 feet. If you go to our website at buildblock.com BIM, you'll be able to find some more information on these actual BIM models and you can go and download them for free. Go here to your Revit families and models and scroll down to the radius section and you can see all of our different models that are accessible to you. Remember that there's some families and also RVT files here, so make sure you're downloading the appropriate one that you want to use. One of the best ways to be able to access this content is to go to our products page and go to the radius section. Here you can download our radius manual and it has a couple of tables in it that are extremely useful for designing and drawing. I definitely recommend downloading the installation manual. From here you can scroll down to a table and that's going to give you all of the underlying geometry that is behind these blocks. And this is how I basically um, put together the information to be able to draw a set of plans. So this has a lot of geometry on it. it. tells me my different radiuses and my different diameters on each of the different arcs on these blocks. Primarily today we're going to be using the inner radius. So when I come back to Revit, I want to make sure that I've loaded in one of the wall types of the block that I'm going to be using. In this case, all of our radius blocks are in 6 inch segments. So I want to make sure that I have that available. And then I want to start reviewing some of these radiuses here. You can notice that you can actually apply a specific radius to each one of these types of blocks, which is going to be information I can derive from the table. One of the first inclinations you may have is to take the wall and to draw this on a simple radius itself using this arc tool. However, that may not align directly to the inner and outer radius of this block system. So the best recommendation is to come here and pick a line tool and go ahead and draw an arc. So I have an arc laid out in place. I can then click it and then I can define the radius that I want this arc to have. If I go back here and let's say we're going to use a BBR608 which is the 8 foot radius. I can see that I have a radius here of 4.18 feet. So I can come in and type this in and that will define the radius that I have here. I can now select this line and select the wall here. I can use the pick line tool and I want to make sure that I pick the finish face that I want to apply this to. So if I'm using an inner radius then I want to make sure that I apply it to that face. Click and now I have my radius that is drawn here. And you can adjust this radius or degree amount of turn that you want to have for your specific set of plans in this case. And now I have a wall type that I can now see and select and I can use this to draw a finished set of plans. So again using the simple line tool is one of the most easy and effective ways to be able to draw my line types and please access and download our content at our website. Thanks again and have a great day.